Right, I'm going to start adding in some content to my. Uh, I'm going to start with my images page actually because I've saved uh, a load of images uh, that I'm going to use and I've made sure that the images that I've saved have gone into my images folder. Now I've renamed all my images just because I think it's a good habit to get into but you don't need to uh, but I, th I think it makes life uh, a little bit simpler. So I've, I've saved six square-ish images of Spider-Man and two wide wider images of Spider-Man and the reason I did that is because if I was to put one of my wide images into one of the square uh, spaces here what would happen is once I resized it to the square it would uh, look a little bit weird it's out of focus because that's not how the image was supposed to be that was not actually not too bad um, so I'm going to use the square images in my square boxes and I'm going to use wide images down the bottom. I'm actually going to merge these uh, together to make a bigger space. Now, uh, to get the images in, much like with, uh, what you did with your uh, banner and your buttons, uh, you could use the uh, folder options over here, or if they're not there for whatever reason, uh, insert and then image, and they'll be in this uh, space here. So I'm going to start with uh, a couple of square images. So I'm going to I'm going to do Spider-Man Square One. I'm going to put him in this top left square here. Now the first thing you'll notice is that your website has gone to hell. Uh, the image is too big for the square and it's resized everything. But you don't need to worry about that. You can just click the image and you'll see some resized dots uh, appear at the bottom right and bottom right hand corner. And you can just drag that image. To roughly the size that you want it doesn't matter too much about the size at the moment that's going to be way too small but if I now click into another square my website will fix itself so now I can start resizing this image so that it matches that square better and you can do this more exactly as well um, by um, using your properties bar down the bottom now I can work out exactly how wide this image needs to be because it's going to be the same width as this button here. Now this button is 225 pixels wide and I can click it and see the dimensions down here. So I can now click my Spider-Man picture and type in the width 225, press enter and it will resize exactly to the width of the home button. Now if I click in another square, this little gap here should disappear. Uh, for the height, this is more uh, guesswork, or certainly at the moment, um, because it's the first uh, image that's gone into this row. Uh, so I'm just going to resize this to, to the height that I want. In fact, I think it's pretty good right now. Um, if I wanted it to be a true square, um, I would just change the height to 225 as well uh, but you can see it doesn't really suit that image too well so I'm going to make that a bit smaller again probably about there so I'm going to put another square image over here so we'll do Spider-Man Square 2 resize this so that it doesn't break my website and now we know the width is 225 and the height, I want to be the same height as this one here. So this one is 159 pixels high. So I'm going to do the same here, 159. And now these two are identical in size. For the, uh, the wide ones down the bottom, I'm going to have to merge these two squares to start with because I want the picture to take up more space. So I'm going to click in the square and drag over, merge using my properties bar down the bottom and then drag one of my wide images in. Resize. Now for the width of this one, this is going to be this button plus this button. So it's 225 times two, which makes 450. So I'm gonna type in 450 here. And then the height, I think what we'll probably do is keep the height the same as these so that they're consistent. So that's 159 high. So we'll see what 159 looks like for that image. I don't think it's good enough uh, because it, it looks too squished. So I'm actually gonna make it, we'll try 250. That looks much better. Now there's a little gap here. You might remember when we added our buttons, it messed with our banner a little bit because 
these uh, lines in between the buttons add uh, pixels to our width. So what I'm going to do is just very carefully drag that image out so that it fills the space. So we're at 455 now rather than 450. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. So I'm going to merge those two squares to make one. Drag in my second wide picture. Resize it. And then this is going to be identical to that. So 455 and 250. 455, 250. So now my website's starting to take shape. And what I would do uh, is put the rest of my pictures in. So for now, I can just copy these over. Um, I might need to resize these because I definitely want these pictures to be the same as these pictures. And to resize my square, I just click on the line and drag up. And the same down here. And now this website is starting to take shape that we've added uh, pictures to it.